Hello, my name is Brandon Boyd, and you are watching Billboard. You float into the room, a ruffled feather. You know, it's definitely uh, a different trip to be traveling around and talking to people and, and doing uh, events uh, around projects that are not Incubus related. The last record we did, If Not Now When, was uh, our seventh album that we put out. And it was the, the last record that we uh, were contractually um, bound to with a, uh, the major label we were on for almost 17 years. I think that there was a collective sense of like, oh, like when we, <laughs> we finished out the contract and we finished the tour and so with uh, the label deal being done and then really, you know, hitting that kind of incubus nail for a really, really long time, um, it just felt like an appropriate time to start allowing for other projects to, um, to manifest. By no means does it mean that uh, incubus is finished. I, just, I think that it means that what we're doing is we're, we're honoring all of the sort of years and all the albums and all the art that we've made together by, by giving it a chance to breathe a little bit. And then when we come back around, circle back around to do another Incubus record, I think it'll be a lot more lovingly informed. I think the intentions behind why we make another record will be a lot more clear. Well, I think that maybe too much. Typical day with, uh, in the studio with Brendan O'Brien. Um, usually, we, we like to treat it a bit like a work day or very much like a work day. We show up at a particular time every day. And unless we're, you know, capturing lightning in a bottle on a, on a daily basis, uh, we, we'll, we'll usually like wrap it up around eight or nine at night. So we're usually in the studio about, you know, eight or nine hours every day. Um, but the day starts with coffee as a, a, a middle section with coffee and then ends with a dinner and some laughs like the end of a chips episode. And we usually try and like end on a laugh and freeze frame. One thing I really enjoy about Brendan is that he doesn't, he doesn't overthink parts. That's the death of anything sort of artistic, I think, is when it's overcooked. Sons of the Sea is definitely more unabashedly pop than anything I've done with Incubus. And it wasn't that we set out to write a pop record. I think I've always had a sort of a pop bent in the way that I know how to write. I grew up on, on pop music. Maybe not by today's standards, but by like the 60s, 70s, and 80s standards, it would be considered pop music. Pop music of today um, has changed. Some of it's cool, but I, I, I don't know. In Sons of the Sea compared to like the pop music of today probably sounds like jazz. <laughs> Incubus's immediate future plans are to um, get together after about a year of not playing together and rehearse our asses off. Then we're going to go down to South America for, gosh, almost a month to do uh, concerts. We're going to go play in Brazil and Peru, Chile, and then hopefully we're going to go surfing together somewhere in South America after that. That's the immediate plan. After that, I'm probably going to put a band together to or Sons of the Sea a little bit. So that's kind of the, the next six months. After that, I don't know. Hopefully something good will come up. Mm -hmm.